morning folks uh, last week um, one of my um, family member asked um, can you be more concrete and um, give us the exact steps of what to eat during the day if we want to have a healthy life and we talk about most of the days you don't have to eat uh, this every single day if 80% of the time like or Monday to Friday work days you do this then Saturday Sunday you can be a bit more uh, not so um, healthy you know we all love some of the unhealthy foods it has got sugar fat salt you know and you are enjoying a meal with family it will not be always uh, healthy like this or this so if you want to do one thing nutrition wise uh, or should I say five things nutrition wise to make your nutrition is optimum and you enjoy it at the same time it is giving you energy and at the same time it is not causing any damage it is intermittent fasting plus few others intermittent fasting we always fast when you sleep everybody fast nobody can eat and sleep so you basically extend that fast on that side and on this side before sleep and after sleep so after you wake up don't immediately go for coffee wait this is my morning coffee wait for at least one hour after your waking time and then drink coffee again no sugar no milk then when i go to hospital probably around nine because i wake up at five drink is a six i probably will be feeling something like need for something around nine nine thirty ten ish so i will have my ground coffee and you need a special thing to make this uh, that's a filter each replaces a french press or cafetiere uh, you just um, there's a filter there if you can see so you put a filter paper and then filter it out it's a filter coffee and um, then i will break my fast this is the first caloric drink that i'm going to have green smoothie with yogurt so it's at the same time prebiotic meaning fibers and probiotic meaning it's yogurt and it has to make it taste nice because this is really yucky this green powder thingy uh, i have put um, uh, half of a lime like this squeeze fresh and um, honey and rock salt it's really tasty and soothing and then probably around one o'clock i will have my proper breakfast meaning breaking the fast and it has got a lot of fresh vegetables and a lot of cooked vegetables and a lot of protein three eggs okay the reason for this is you are you are delaying your insulin spike insulin spike will happen when you're giving body a carbohydrate spike although it has got carbohydrate but by that time, when the sugar, only one to two tablespoons of honey, hits my bloodstream and raises my blood sugar, my muscles are so hungry, my muscle will absorb the sugar before even insulin can react. So again, I'm not spiking the insulin. And this is this will cause a little bit of spiking because vegetable will have a little bit of carbohydrate. But the spike will not be like this as breakfast cereal. You think breakfast cereal is very healthy? It is not. It spikes sugar like this try it put a continuous glucose monitoring and see what happens so i love my oats but maybe once in a while when i want to indulge and it has got olives good fat avocado butter and um, some apples to give a con con different uh, texture so this is full of different texture like a mashy um, uh, avocado and the crunchy peas and nuts seeds um, egg and broccoli and pepper and um, hard cheese which is a very good source of vitamin k2 which you need for vitamin d or coming to vitamin d you do need your vitamin d if you're living in uk or a country where there is almost no sun and you are dark skin like me you will need some supplement and vitamin d alone can cause damage to your arteries because of indiscriminate calcifications you need vitamin d k2 Although I'm taking some K2 here, but there's the vitamin K2 in heart cheese and this omega-3 and this is magnesium. We are almost universally depleted in magnesium salt because most of our food doesn't have magnesium. Although this is my Brazil nut. Uh, oh, I'm jumping steps. So this is my lunch and around um, 4 o'clock I'll feel a bit sleepy and looking for some food. You know, when I'm stressed and tired, you're looking for something. So this is my ashwagandha. Um, research it this is really good uh, ashwagandha and um, that's my drink and finally my this is I call guilty pleasure because you can see some of the stuff is carbohydrate 
and chanachur, Indian snacks and Brazil nuts, good source of magnesium, manganese, zinc and all that. And again, I will make another drink with this. This will probably be my 6 o'clock before I start my evening clinic or evening work. And finally, when I come home, uh, Indian lunch is normally a late lunch, 9, 9.30, sometime even 10. So, so from 10 o'clock to 10, that's 12 hours and then another couple of hours so 14 so i can't do 16 hours but this ideally it should be 16 hour no no food or no calorie should i say say they say you can have bone broth tea coffee without milk and sugar that will not break your fast so no calorie fasting here actually means that you're not giving body any work or calorie it can just absorb all of this does it make sense does it give you an uh, idea like um what is a good sequence for long-term longevity, long-term longevity, longevity and good health and less of a metabolic syndrome, less of a lack of energy, less of brain fog. This heals gut, this particularly and this, this uh, the bacteria love it. So whatever you want to eat, you know, your dessert or rice or carbonara or pizza, put it when you come home with family because it is contextual as well some may argue that should we have carbohydrate meal in the beginning and non-carbohydrate at the end but i can't do it because and family is important when you're having meal you come home everybody's together you're having meal that meal will get a bit out of control you know dessert and all that stuff and that's why i will keep it at the end of the day but if you want you can do it at the beginning of the day but this is what i do and this is probably most indians will do you'll find it very difficult to uh, not have food with family which will be everything and make sure you take your lunch with you because if you don't you will end up buying stuff which is available in the canteen which to be honest is neither tasting good costing money and it is made of recooked oil it is fried and using recooked oil and a lot of processed food because they they take food from the refrigerator frozen stuff and just heat it up and mix stuff it's really damaging if you're doing this day in and day out okay and beverage is important this has got adaptogen ashwagandha find out what is adaptogen they are neither vitamin nor minerals but they affect brain and body in a very peculiar way and there are many adaptogens like ginger is another adaptogen turmeric is another adaptogen there are hundreds of adaptogen indian uh, system of health ayurveda um, has discovered all of this without almost any uh, proper evidence base and now we are finding the evidence base gradually so that's it um, if you have got any question ask in the comment box comment box have a nice day